guys, this is Subala Raj. Welcome back to my new channel. Today we are unboxing more shoes like I promised. So let's begin because I'm not gonna drag you through all of that nonsense I did in my last video, which if you watched, I really appreciate. But now you kind of know if you want to watch, if you wanna know my outlook on shoes, trends, fashion, heels, um, you should watch my previous video. I'm gonna link it down below. Um, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> so I'm gonna start by saying that I returned one of the sandals from my previous video because when I edited the video, I watched it back, I realized that Rosalie sandals were a little bit crooked. So when I watched my video, I put the shoes on the table in front of me and I realized that the heels are a little bit angled and it was visible in the video and obviously it's important what they look like on my feet and not on the shelf. So they went back and I explained to the essay about the issue and I wanted to exchange them for another pair. They had one more pair of Rosalie sandals in my size and they were also crooked. The heel on one of them, on the right one, just like on the pair I had, was slightly crooked. So I decided to exchange them for something I never had from Christian Louboutin, which is crazy because it's like one of their most popular shoes. I checked Christian Louboutin website later that day and I realized that nude Rosalie or beige Rosalie is back in stock. And it was sold out for the longest time because I really wanted it in nude. So I ordered it and when it arrived, the heel was also angled. Both heels were slightly angled. So I realized that it's not just that one pair, that it's just the style that is kind of crooked because maybe of the way it's made. It looks very unstable. It is kind of unstable. So I decided to keep them and wear them that same day. So I already posted pictures in them and I'm going to show them to you first because I already wore them. So it's not like a true unboxing. And here they are. They are pink undertone beige color. Um, they are gorgeous, they really elongate your legs because they're beige, they don't cut you off. And I don't think the black Rosalie cuts you off because of the way they're made. It's like, I think they elongate your leg no matter what color you get them in. I kind of want them in red now, but I wore them out and they are slightly uncomfortable because your foot slips forward. And even though they say to size up on the website, if I got them in 39, my toes would be like here because this little strap doesn't hold your toes in very well and my feet are not the narrowest feet so I don't know um, maybe they're just a little uncomfortable for me but they're more comfortable than other Christian Louboutin shoes I had so maybe I'll get used to them so I wore them only once so they're not very scratched I wore them to a restaurant I love them I truly love them I think they're really hot I think Black Rosalie is hotter to be honest with you, but these just go with absolutely everything. And it's summer, you kind of need light strappy sandals and I don't have any beige strappy sandals. So I was looking for them and these are the ones I wanted. Um, sucks that the heel is a little bit crooked. So I will try them on for you so you can see. But yeah, if you wanna see the black pair, you should go see my previous video. Let's begin with, uh, Okay, so the black Rosalie sandals were exchanged for Pigalle Felice in patent nude, and here they are. I mean, I have the box, of course, but um, they were on my shelf. I took a little picture of them with my other shoes already last night, so they are out of their box, but this is the box and they are absolutely stunning. Um, they are very They are very pink undertone nude, and that's exactly how I like it. Yellow undertones don't look good on my skin tone, and this is not just pink undertone, it's like extreme, it's extra pink undertone, I feel like. So these are Pigalle Felice in 10 centimeter heel, which is four inches, and the heel is very thin, and the shape is very sexy. So these are size 39. I decided to size up because the toe box here doesn't have enough room. So my toes are a little bit wider 
Um, my foot isn't wide, I think it's medium, but um, the toe box here is very narrow on this side. So I went for size 39. I tried 38 and it's fine, but my toes got tired after like a few seconds. So they were like jammed in too tightly and I felt a little bit of pain. So I tried these on and they're perfect. There's no, um, not a lot of room. There's not much room here between the heel and they don't slip off my heel, which is very important because Christian Vuitton shoes, they stretch. You can't really size up in them. It has to be your perfect size. But if your toes don't fit, that means it's not your size. Obviously, your toes also have to fit. So these are size 39. One of the Christian Vuitton essays told me that you need to size up in Pigalle Folies, but I tried them on in the past, but I tried my true size and my toes did not fit. And they were excruciating in the store. So I didn't try to size up, but now I did and I love them. They are really, really, really sexy. They are gorgeous. So I'm gonna compare them to you. Why these are the sexiest shoe I have. Like, honestly, I think this is the sexiest shoe I have right now because I always go for Cornet or whatever the name is. I think it's Cornet. So this toe box, and this is 38 and a half. So I have the left shoe and the right shoe. If you can see the difference, this one is huge. There is tons of room for your toes and therefore it's not as sexy as this one. I'm gonna show you because it's also, the toe box is taller. And this is why the Pigal, see um, the color? This is more, um, this is also pink undertone, but this is more yellow and this one is very pink. So I guess they changed their nude slightly recently because I got this one two years ago and I wore it once because I have my old Christian Louboutins that I'm wearing. Well, no, actually I wore it twice. Once to a party and once to a restaurant. So, um, so that's why they look really good, but they're really comfortable. I don't need to break them in. So if you want something really comfortable that you can wear to an office or just run errands in and wear for an entire day, I think that this is um, your best bet. So that's why these are not as sexy because see how thin, narrow, not narrow, not thin, but you know what I mean? This this distance <laughs> my gosh you know what i mean look how chunky this toe box is and this one is very delicate and sexy and pointy so that's why this one it looks kind of like a beak so i don't like the way they look from the side the heel is the same so it's just the front that matters to me but these are awesome and i'm very happy um, that I tried them. I tried them on at the store um, and they were very comfortable. I know you need to break them in. Wearing them for two, three minutes is nothing compared to like going out in them, but I feel like I will have no problem breaking them in because I'm used to new Christian Louboutin shoes and breaking them in. As soon as I, as soon as I break them in, I start breaking in another pair and it takes six times of me wearing them to break them in because I don't wear them for very long. If you want to break in your shoes, don't wear them for four hours straight. Just go somewhere when you know you're going somewhere for an hour or two, wear your Christian Louboutin shoes. Just take it slow because you don't want to be in pain for too long. And they, they are painful at the very beginning. But once you break them in, once you wear them for six times, well, four times if you wear them for like half a night, uh, which I don't suggest you do right away. But if you wear them for six times, you will love them and they will be your favorite, most comfortable shoes. I promise you, you just need to give them time. You need to use, okay, you will bleed. This is like worst unboxing ever. Um, you will bleed here. You will bleed maybe on the sides here or on the back, on the back of the shoe, you will bleed. So once you have blood here, don't wait until it dries. So, okay, two tips. Get a baby wipe and wipe them on the inside because you will have little slimy dirt that gets in and then stays there. So while it's moist, you can wipe it with a baby wipe or with a wet paper towel and it will just be squeaky clean. Um, don't, don't let it set. Don't let the dirt dry with your sweat in the shoe because it's just going to be harder to get it 
out the next day and um, here once you bleed do not let the blood set just take benz benzoyl peroxide no that's acne medication take hydrogen peroxide from CVS you know like you can buy a whole big bottle for like a dollar and you put little drops just a tiny bit of hydrogen peroxide on the blood and it will bubble and the blood will disappear or it will fade more or less so you can just put a little bit of hydrogen peroxide and um, wipe it dry with a paper towel and then do the same thing again and again and again and it will go away um, just don't pour it in it's not gonna hurt because I did it on all of my shoes but I just don't like bloody stains here and it happens it happens because patent leather shoes they cut into your skin um, also um, also bonus tip number three you need to lotion up your feet as I mentioned in my previous video especially around the heel just put uh, some moisturizing cream or lotion otherwise the leather especially this type of leather will cut into your skin and now on to the last pair and this is probably my favorite pair oh my god i love them so much they're so pretty um they're pinup girl style um i'm not sure the name i think it's hot chick i'm gonna insert their full name on the screen so i wanted them for the longest time but when they just came out they sold out and they didn't have them in black they come in black with these little pinup girls and they also come in this pink but black i tried black and pink when i went to the store and they got them in now they have them on the website if you want them but i tried these and the black so from afar black hot chick with pinup girls seemed like you couldn't understand what it was it was like kind of flowers or some ornaments you couldn't tell what it was and these you can't tell what's on them from afar but it looks more cartoony and more fun so and this one will go with everything it's like very summery so i feel like they will go with um uh, boyfriend jeans with jean shorts with um t-shirt dresses with mini skirts with anything really so these are kind of like a nude pair they to me are very neutral but at the same time it's a statement shoe so what i like to do with these types of shoes uh with statement shoes this is so this is a limited edition shoe obviously they're gonna stop making them and i like to wear them a couple of times a few times when i get them then put them away and then two years later wear them when you can't get them anymore and everybody's like oh my gosh where did you get them they look amazing um you can't get them anymore thank you very much that's what i like to do with shoes like these sorry not sorry i just love statement shoes and um of course i like a good nude shoe and a black patent leather shoe but um i wear those very often like pretty much on a daily basis but these are so cool so these are also very narrow um here in the toe box so i was told to go up half a size my essay gets everything in her regular size but the hot chick she gets half a size up because i tried 38 and a half and my toes did not fit like the toe box here is extremely on this side is extremely narrow i don't know if it's the same i think yes it is more narrow than the pigal Felice. so um, height wise it's the same but it's more narrow so you definitely need to go up half a size and a quick tip number four these are my favorite things i have so many of these and i order them non-stop and i don't know why they stopped selling them at cvs like you have to get them on amazon but because i get size 39 i don't want to ever run into an issue of my heel slipping out of the shoe so i put this gel um liner on the inside like i did with these so these already have the liner in because even though they're 38 and a half because they have such a wide toe box that my foot doesn't slip out but it's not tightly in they should be a perfect size you shouldn't really size up or size down because if you size down you won't be able to walk in them so um i still have the gel liner even though it is my true size 38 and a half and i love I love 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 these things even if you got your perfect size heels i think that these still make such a difference because it's like little cushion and 
your heels don't rub and your foot is very secure and it's not you know rubbing and it's not really getting blisters i think that this prevents it but also you need to remember to moisturize your feet that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching if you found this video helpful give it a like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye guys